Hello friends, Aaron from The Lost 40 here. So, uh, did some cutting today and uh, chain's a little dull. So, uh, gonna give her a quick sharpen and finish enjoying this wonderful sunny day. So, we'll get you turned around here and uh, get the sharpening. So we got you set up nice and close, um, just so you can kind of see what's going on. But uh, what I like to do first is mark a tooth so I know where I start. Generally, black sharpie works just fine. And then for here in the shop, I use a little grinder with a 732nd uh, grinding bit on it. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go, kind of. So, and that's what I do, and I just go each tooth and go from there. So, all right, here we go. Now I generally keep the same angle, or try to, as what the tooth is. And I make sure that I get the gullet and get up underneath that top plate. up here. all sharpened and I've sharpened this chain a couple of times now and have never taken the rakers down which you can have the sharpest chain in the world and if your rakers aren't adjusted right or if they're too you know too high uh, it ain't gonna matter so so we'll take these rakers down and Go from there. So, kind of the same same deal. Start at the tooth that you marked, and like with each raker, you know, back and forth. Like, so the one that you're going to start with, um, 
you want to go towards the point, I guess, of the tooth is the simplest way to put it. So, and you want to apply even pressure and uh, since I don't use a gauge generally, a raker gauge, I just do a full pass of the file from tip to where the teeth stop. I'll either do one or two with this one. I will probably do two. It's like I said, I haven't uh, adjusted the, or, you know, filed these rakers. So here we go. Some of you may wonder how often I file my rakers. Uh, probably every couple of sharpenings on a chain. I will go through and do a pass on the rakers. get you in here let's see if we can't tell the difference here so that one you can tell that I got the there it goes then I filed that raker that is what it started at so, see the difference? So this one's a little flatter on the point than what this one is. So, and what your raker does is also not only kind of clean out the groove from tooth to tooth, but it also is kind of how much your tooth is going to cut. So... Speed you up on this. So there you go. Uh, a little bit of saw maintenance. Um, you know, you can generally tell when you need to sharpen. Um, most people say, you know, or some people say, I guess, after every tank or every couple of tanks. Uh, basically, if 
you know, you're starting to have to work more for the same amount of cut, uh, then it's time to sharpen your chain. Um, you know, if you're noticing you have to put more pressure on the saw to cut through the wood that you weren't putting a ton of pressure on before. So things like that, the size of chips, um, if you got nice big flakes, um, then, you know, you you know your chain is sharp. If you basically have sawdust or powder when you're cutting a tree, then you definitely need to sharpen your chain. So, uh, that is all, I guess, for today, guys. Um, if you like what you see, give the channel a thumbs up. Uh, doesn't cost you a thing and helps out the channel. Uh, until next time, talk to you later.